Mrs. N. Lloyd, I specifically told you no playing with those things outside the station. But, Mom... No buts, Lloyd. You could break a window. Someone could get sucked into space. Now you and your friends have two minutes to clean up that mess and get back inside the station. Understood? Yes, Mom. Man, this is so typical. It's like my mom's got anti-fun radar. Whenever I start having a good time, somehow she finds out and comes zooming in to stop me. Well, it is her job to enforce safety regulations. She is, after all, commander of the station. Yeah, my boring old mom's commander. Which is exactly why this crummy old tin can is such a boring, stupid, dull, boring place. Just once, I wish something exciting would happen around here. Just once! Hey, it's landing here! Let's go! It's the Neutron Condor, the fastest fighter ship in the galaxy. The Neutron Condor? That's Brock Rockman's ship. A most excellent development. Whoa, I can't believe it. Brock Rockman landing at Intrepidville. Brock Rockman, all right. Uh, who's Brock Rockman? Only the greatest fighter pilot who ever fighter piloted. I heard he defeated a whole squadron of opposing torpedo bombers with three of his engines burned out and a dozen viper strikes on his tail. I understand he single-handedly eluded a Zunian man of war that ambushed it from behind the moon of EO-7. In other words, Kurt, you're about to see a real live living legend, right up close and personal. <laughs> Which one of you grease monkeys refuse ships in this outback hole in the wall? Uh, I do, Mr. Rockman, sir. See? Boomer. And then fill her up. Yes, sir. And while you're at it, change the plutonium. I don't want to hear any knocks or pings when I kick her into hyperdrive. All right, all right. Please, 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 please. All right, all right. Now settle down, people. I know you're probably excited to actually meet a person like me in person, but believe it or not, I need your help. You see, I'm looking for a Noraline Nebula. You, you mean Nora Nebulon? Yes, son. I have a communique for her. She's up on the bridge. Just take the elevator to level five. Level five. Got it. What a surprising development! Brock Rockman has a communique for your mother! <laughs> Maybe she's in trouble for boring up the universe. Bad news for her, good news for us! Check it out, the Neutron Condor, right here on our own space station! Yeah! And if you'll just sign here, initial here, section print there. Hello, Nora. Well, well, well. If it isn't Brock Rockman, dashing swashbuckler of the cosmos. It actually says that on my license now. I'm sure it does. Commander, Commander, a galactic interceptor has just landed in docking bay one, piloted by the legendary Brock Rockman. He says he has an urgent communique for you. Oh, hi, mister. Oh, a communique, huh? This wouldn't be another one of your tricks, would it? Strictly business, Nora. You know me better than that. Listen, is there somewhere we can talk? Sure. Come into my office. Commander, if you need anything... I'll be fine, Dunkirk. Although, just in case, keep your blaster on stun. Hey! What do I have to do to get some service over here, huh? <sighs> I'm coming, I'm coming. Whoa! Check this baby out! Dual thrusters, ditratanium alloy, double hulled construction... And pinstripes! Man, I'd give anything to check out one of these on the inside. Maybe we can. What do you mean? Supposing we just sneak aboard for a little look around. But Edward, surely a ship of this caliber has a highly sophisticated security system. It would be impregnable without the proper access codes. Oh, contraire, my wrinkly gray friend. And then, after I generously came to the defense of the mud people from Kleptos 9 and gave my blessing to the enormous mud statue they'd raised in my honor, I blasted off a Quadrant 13 where I single-handedly defeated an army of clubberbots. Uh, did I mention single-handedly? Excuse me, Brock, but you said you had some sort of urgent message for me? Always right to business. You know, that's one of the things that I've always admired about you, ever since the old days at the Academy. Oh, those were good days, weren't they? What about that communique, Brock? The only communique I have for you is a communique of love. Oh, 
Sorry, Brock. Not interested. Isn't there something useful you could be doing right now? Maybe whitening your teeth or working on your humility? Oh, I know. Why don't you go check on your ship? My ship? Why would I do that? I'm Brock Rockman. No one messes around with my ship. My friends, we are in. I don't know, Eddie. Are you sure we should be messing around with Brock Rockman's ship? This isn't messing around. This is a learning experience. A chance for us to explore and enrich our young minds with knowledge. Boom! Ow! Eat my photons, Dwarf Knot Slime! Boom! Oh, goodness! What a breathtaking array of state-of-the-art components! It's a veritable cornucopia of top-secret military technology! Just think of the missions this word has flown! Dodging asteroids, whipping through starfields, blasting the baddest guys in the universe! If only she could talk! I bet she'd have some pretty cool stories to tell. Yeah. Autopilot initialized. Wh what's going on? Uh, I think I sat on a control I maybe shouldn't have sat on. <laughs> Uh, Commander Nebulon, sorry to interrupt, but could you please tell Commander Rockman that he just started the engines on his ship? I did. Hey, uh, Mr. Rockman? Like, I haven't changed your plutonium yet. Dude, you're not Rockman. Oh, he's no help. What are we gonna do? Douglas, you're smart about junk. Turn off the engines. Well, uh, logic would dictate that the engine shut-off control would be located approximately here. Those little guys really know how to fly. That was the scariest experience of my entire life! Mine too! Oh, come on, you big babies! It was a blast! Besides, you're the ones who wanted excitement! Hey, Skolas, where'd that joyride take us anyway? Well, I can't be certain, but judging by the star configuration outside our window, I would deduce that we are billions of miles from anywhere! You mean, we're lost? We're all gonna die! We're all gonna die! Help us! We're all gonna die! Eddie, Eddie, calm down! It's not that bad! I mean, we flew straight here, right? All we gotta do is turn the ship around and fly back the way we came! Excellent plan, Lloyd! Save one minor glitch! According to this gauge, we're out of fuel! We're all gonna die! We're all gonna die! Help us! We're all gonna die! You there! Huh? Where's my ship? By now? Probably like a jillion miles that away. But how? Who took it? Why, none other than your fearless teenage crew, sir. What are you talking about, you slacker Nikon poop? I'm Brock Rockman. I fly a solo. I'll handle this, Brock. Boomer, did you get a clear look at who took the ship? Can you describe these thieves or, or hijackers or whatever they are? Oh, sure, Commander Nebulon. I'd describe them as your son Lloyd and his three friends. Lloyd? Your boy broke into my ship. B but how could he have? He must have stolen my keys from you. Wait a minute, Brock. Do you mean to tell me that you just waltzed off and left the keys to a classified military vehicle with a civilian gas station attendant? Uh, well, uh, on second thought, let's not play the blame game, Nora. Dunkirk Nebulon here. I want a vector analysis on the ship that just left. I need a location and I need it fast. Hang on there, little lady. Stow that order. I beg your pardon. You see, I always carry a tracking device for just such an emergency. Leave everything to Brock Rockman. Hmm. My ship seems to be much closer than we suspected. Yes, it's very close indeed. In fact, my friends, the Neutron Condor is right about here. In your pocket. <laughs> Oops. Yes, I should have left this little guy aboard the ship, huh? Dunkirk, continue to vector as ordered. I'm on my way to the bridge. And Brock Rockman is right behind you. Uh, I'll stick around down here. Look, we gotta face it. Sooner or later, we're gonna get in trouble. Besides, it might not be so bad. Maybe a lecture, maybe we get grounded for a week, then it's over. Oh, man. I never thought I'd say this, but Douglas, go ahead and call our parents. Calling Intrepidville. This is the Neutron Condor. Do you read me? We may well be out of range. Maybe you should shout. Try again, Douglas. <clears throat> Attention! This is the Neutron Condor! Repeat! This is the Neutron Condor! Respond if you can hear me! Over! Neutron Condor, we have received your transmission. Yay! Yay! We have received your transmission and we are not pleased! You have entered the demilitarized zone of Herbert Knarr! Surrender your vessel and prepare to be enslaved! Hey Eddie, that's good news! Now that we're gonna be slaves, you won't have to tell your parents! 
Commander Nebulon, I've done a full sweep with the long-range sensors, and there's no sign of the neutron condor. It's a rather large universe, Commander. Locating that ship is like finding a needle in the midst of several billion haystacks. Well, keep trying. That ship must be found. Yes, ma'am. Of course. Commander, I could call my friend Wayne at the Intergalactic Parking Authority. He'll know if the boy's got a ticket. You do that, Larry. Brock, I need to know everything there is to know about that ship of yours. First, I need to know something about your ship, Nora. This chair of yours, it's absolutely sumptuous. Is this a Kristoff original? Station, get me the specs on the neutron condor. Larry, Dunkirk, keep working. I'll find you, Lloyd, even if I have to turn this universe upside down. Neutron condor, this is General Frontog. I order you to establish visual contact immediately. What do we do? What do we do? We can't make it run for us. We're out of gas. Wait a minute, guys. We're aboard an intergalactic fighter. Why don't we blast those goons back to the car age? Yeah, all 200 of them. That is a lot of goons. <sighs> Besides, we're just a bunch of kids. We're not hero guys like Brock Rockman. You're right, Eddie. We're not Brock Rockman. But Vron Talk doesn't know that. <laughs> I'm sorry, Commander, but I've pushed the sensors to their limits, and they're still not sensing anything. Just keep looking, Dunkirk. Commander, while reviewing the Neutron Condor's technical specifications, I discovered that all Type 32 galactic interceptors use an ionic thruster propulsion system. I could have told you that. Go on, Station. As it turns out, these particular thrusters leave a distinct ion trail whenever the ship goes into hyperdrive. So, theoretically, we could trace this ion trail all the way to the Neutron Condor. Theoretically, yes. <laughs> Neutron Condor, I repeat, this is General Frontok. Respond now, I command you! What is with this guy? I hail him and hail him and nothing! What matter of grace and being dares defy Frontok? I do, that's who! Who are you? Identify yourself immediately or be utterly annihilated! My name? <clears throat> I mean, my name is Brock Rockman! <laughs> the great Brock Rockman. So, we meet at last. You got that right, Vrondok. I am Brock Ruckman, and I really am great. Tell him about all your exploits. Right, right. I have many exploits, Vrondok, so you better watch out for me, I tell ya. Of course I'm aware of your accomplishments, Ruckman, but that doesn't change the fact that you have violated the demilitarized zone, and for that, you must pay. Don't talk to me about paying, Vrondok, because I may be in some military zone, but you're in the Brock zone, pal. Maybe you heard what I did to Zoot, the Merciless. Yes, I've heard. I understand Zoot still walks with a limp. That's right, and you and all your ships will be walking with a limp too if you don't back off. Uh, just a second. What do we do now, Commander? Well, I don't know. Looking good, Lloyd. It's working. I gotta say, it's pretty cool being a legendary hero guy. All right. I have made my decision. We will neither destroy you nor enslave you. Yes! Oh, I mean, wise move, Rontok. In that case, I have decided to neither blast you with my laser nor punch you in the face. You and your big flock of ships are free to go. Very well. I will call off my fleet of ships. And don't come back for a long, long time. Because I'm Brock Rockman, and you don't want to tangle with me, buddy. No, no. I understand that. Because when guys tangle with Brock Rockman, someone gets hurt, and it ain't the Rockmeister. Of course. Point well taken. Oh, and Rondok, one more thing. Yes? Boo! <laughs> well, you've got to admit, General, Rockman really got you there. Yes, very funny. <laughs> okay, okay, now it's my turn! No! Knock, knock. Who are you? Oh, you're supposed to say, who's there? My general, they're nothing but a bunch of children. Children? I see. What a funny game. Frontok has been made to look like a fool. No one makes a fool of Frontok. Contact the fleet and activate the Ring of Doom. It looks like the last laugh is on you! In one minute, you will all be vaporized! <laughs> Maybe I should have tried a limerick. How much time do we have left? 40 seconds until we're blasted into oblivion! How long now? 38 seconds! How about now? Will you stop asking? Mr. Vrontok, listen, I'm really, really sorry about all that stuff I said to you. I didn't mean it. We're all just kids, and we were just messing around. I mean, I know we violated this treaty thing of yours, but it was an accident. So I'm asking you, Kid the Warlord, 
Please, please! Could you just keep blowing us up? Your heartfelt plea for mercy touches me greatly. It convinces me that destroying a ship full of helpless children is going to be even more enjoyable than I had imagined! <laughs> Ten seconds to firing! Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four! Who dares knock my ship off target? Sir, enemy fighter off the port bow. What are you waiting for? Destroy it! I can't get a lock on it, sir. It's maneuvering too fast! Wow, look at that guy fly! I just hope he's on our side. The craft appears to bear Intrepidville markings. It's from the station! It must be Brock! He came to save us! Oh, oh, the alien vessels, stand down or be destroyed! Hey, that's not Brock! That's a girl! I repeat, stand down or be destroyed! That's no girl, Eddie! That's my mom! Whoa! Look out! They're firing at us! With real lasers! <laughs> Come on, Nora, now knock it off! Let, let's go home, okay? Pull it together, Brock! You're supposed to be the greatest fighter pilot in the universe! How about a little help? But you don't understand! I'm not a legend, I'm a myth! All those stories about me, I made them up. Now, now, there you go. You know the truth. Now can we go home? Oh, Rock. I always knew you were a braggart, but I never realized you were a coward, too. Enemy warrior, show yourself. I demand to know who has attacked my glorious armada of ships. This is Commander Nora Nebulon of the space station Intrepidville. You mean Nora Lee Nebulon? I thought she was dead. I have disabled the weapons on half of your little armada. Now, before I finish it off completely, I suggest you stand down! Nora Lee Nebulon, your reputation precedes you. However, you have but one tiny ship. I have many big ones. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't order them to destroy you. Because if you so much as power up your weapons or lock your systems onto either my ship or the one behind me, I'll flood my engines with quantum plutrino particles. But that could cause an explosion so huge it would take out this entire quadrant. You wouldn't dare. Try me. Why must everyone play hardball with Frontop? Oh, Lloyd, this is scaring me. What's your mom doing? She's putting her life in danger to save us. Well, what'll it be? Hmm. If I back down, I am humiliated. But if she destroys this quadrant, I have no more demilitarized zone to protect, no fleet to command, and of course I would be dead. Hmm. Nora Lee Nebulon, you win. What was I supposed to do? You saw how tough she was out there. Besides, we can always go home, fix our ships up, and try again on the next intruders, eh? Doesn't that, that sound good? Yes. Yes. Nora Lee Nebulon, you are as brave as you are probably beautiful to others of your species. But before I go, I have one question. That man cowering next to you like a Glarptolian ginger mouse. Who is he? Uh, nobody. Identify yourself! I'm, uh, Rockman. Rock, Rockman. <laughs> <laughs> so at last we see the real Brock Rockman! <laughs> You know, today I've been humiliated repeatedly, first by a child, and now by a woman who single-handedly disabled my beloved fleet. But still, seeing a great hero unmasked as a pitiful coward, well, it's a little ray of sunshine on an otherwise cloudy day. Goodbye, Norley Nebulon, or as we say on my world, Quacky Lord Salam. Boys, are you all right? Yes, oh, yeah. I'm fine. Mom, it's really good to see you. It's good to see you too, Lloyd. Ah, don't push that button! You'll blow us up! Oh, calm down, Brock. It's just a cable release. Hang on, kids. We're going home. Mom? Lloyd? What's up? Um, I finished washing and waxing all the ships in the docking bay. Thank you, Lloyd. Maybe you won't be so quick to sneak aboard the next fancy-looking ship that comes flying in. Don't worry, I won't. But, uh, Mom? There's something I've been wondering. 
I mean, all this time you've been able to fly like a World War IX fighter pilot? Yes. Well, how can we never talk about it? And all that stuff you did out there to that Vrontok guy? That was awesome! But you've hardly even mentioned it to anyone! I mean, it's weird enough that my own mom's a hero, but what's even weirder is that almost no one even knows. Well, everyone knew that Brock Rockman was a hero. But he wasn't. Exactly. You see, it doesn't matter to me what people know or what they think they know. All that matters to me, Lloyd, is that you're safe. Commander, I thought you might like to know. The Neutron Condor has just left the main docking bay. Thank you, Dunkirk. Thanks, Mom.